Welcome to another episode of Does It Hold Up? I'm Ganon, and today we have a banger. Avatar The Last Airbender, PS2. We're just gonna hop right into it with the first cutscene. It seems an eternity ago that Sokka and I left our homes in the South Pole to help Aang with his Avatar training. The long journey since then has led us to the North Pole. Although Sokka and I sometimes dream of reuniting with our father, we realize the importance of Aang completing his waterbending training here. Even if, at times, it seems he doesn't. I don't know what it is about these models. It's just... At certain angles, they really look ugly. Like, really ugly. You'll, uh, like, I'll show you what I mean later. Alright, put this cutscene over, and Appa being cute. You move with the left stick. Right stick moves, uh, like, zooms in and out, which is really weird. You can attack with the X button. Square is how you guard. Circle doesn't do anything, except when you use a skill, which is RB and circle. But we don't have any skills right now, so I can't really show you it. This game has, like... Momo objects, I guess is what you would call them. Essentially, it's just random objects that only Momo can find on the map. If you know where they are, it's really quick to find them. If you don't, it could take a while. But here's like one of the main gimmicks, the focus mechanic. Essentially, they give you this mini game and then you like perform a certain action that either does something on the map or gives you a chest like so. We make our way to the village where we run into Katara waiting on me. She quickly informs us that Master Wei is looking for us. Then shows us the way. <laughs> that hurt just as much as it hurt me. Oh yeah, before I forget, we level up in this game. I'll show you the skill later. Master Wei greets us but asks for help in locating a missing tribe member named Hiryu who went hunting some time ago. Of course I agreed since I'm, you know, the avatar. I can't just say no to a person in need. So off we go to find hear you. Right before we leave, I want to show you the shop. I didn't really use it for gear, mostly just quest items and craft materials. It's not a crazy UI or anything. Just, you know, just a regular shop for a PS2 game at this time. As I was exploring the map, villagers kept talking about a fisherman having trouble catching anything. So I decided to help him out. Turns out, he gives you a quest item, the lamp oil, which will be used later. Oh, uh, side note, I think it's kind of funny how the solution to his problem is just air bending, but then you really think about it. Give it a go. How is this man supposed to keep catching fish without air bending? Great, thanks. I don't know. Just a thought. Here's the item menu. It's kind of weird, mostly because you can only navigate with the left stick, making it. A little clunky, but not impossible to use. I just wish you could use the D-pad instead. It would just be way better that way. But that's used for like selecting characters and stuff. We don't really have anything too crazy at the moment, so I'll probably show off a little more when we get some of the soul items. Basically just character unique sets. This music really slaps, you know, when it's playing, because sometimes it doesn't play. But when it does, man, it's so good. I think there's only like one or two bad tracks in this entire thing. And oh, this location is just so nice looking. Look at it. All the nice running water, all the ice. Oh, sorry, I'm gushing. Let's get back to the, <laughs> the game. <laughs> After staring at the waterfall for a bit, I find mysterious tracks leading into a pit. Next to that, machine parts and a pouch belonging to hear you. We quickly return to Master Wade to report what we found, giving him a machine part and Hiryu's pouch. For helping him find a lead to what happened to Hiryu, I get my first soul item, the Four Winds Charm. It's not much to look at right now, but wait until we get more. Trust me, the stats increase drastically. Remember that wick and lamp oil? It's for this old lady, because apparently hers doesn't work anymore. So, after I give it to her, we're interrupted by the Fire Nation.
I want the Avatar unharmed. I'll just rip the Band-Aid off now. There's no Zuko fight in this game. I know, it's tragic, but that's what life is all about. Tragedies. On the bright side, we get to beat up firebenders. And yes, they are pushovers, just like in the show. Unless they're in groups, they're pretty toxic. Well, it looks like our boy Sokka's in danger. We gotta run over there and help him out. But before that, how about a quick explanation of how the combo system works? The combo system's pretty simple. You have Novice, Prodigy, and Master, just by hitting enemies. Once you get Master, it allows you to do this cool slow motion attack that one-shots normal enemies. After we brutalize the Fire Nation, we get access to Sokka, our second team member of the game, and the Fire Nation retreat. Alright, this part right here is like cool, but I never understood how the Master, you know, the guy who's supposed to be teaching Aang, Get, like, manages to get cooked by basic enemies. Master Wei! <laughs> I, I don't know, it's just something weird I wanted to point out. Bring me the girl! Everyone, back to the ship! Hey! Oh no! Just wanted to give you an idea of what Sokka's focus looks like. Essentially, it's just him, like, hitting the shit out of anything he finds. And that's, like, his whole thing. After Katara is taken, Master Wei confirms that Hiryu was also dragged into that massive hole we found. He claims that no natural being could create something like this. Which could imply a machine has something to do with it. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to go find Katara, and fight the first boss of the game. I think this is a cool feature, forcing you to save, or at least giving you the option to save before you fight a boss. So if you want to, like, 100% the chapter, like I did, it gives you that option. It's pretty cool. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> have to say, I really do like the design of this boss, and like, just the general way they introduce all the bosses. I'm going to show them all, so don't worry. Like. I don't know. They make him seem threatening, even to Aang, even though you know he's gonna clear him. So this boss is pretty simple. He has that one flamethrower attack. Right here, he obviously shows you the obvious weakness. Don't worry, Aang like frags late game, so I'll show you how badly you can beat these guys. He has the slam attack, he has a swipe, and then he shoots these three fireballs. Overall, for our first boss, he has a decent move pool. I don't think he's necessarily hard, but just a decent first challenge. Oh, hail Sokka, great warrior and conqueror of large kitchen utensils. And the comedy in this game is pretty that on point. I can't wait to show you more of the jokes, the especially with Boomy. He hits. Seen. And that armor is stronger than metal. Fire Nation! Things are getting more dangerous, Aang. We must find Katara. Yep, yep! This part right here is more of like uh, the in-between where people just chat. And I think it's pretty cool. There's Zuko's ship. You, you get Katara like a lot of personality shown on just right in the Appa's back. There's Fire Nation everywhere! I know I was hating on the Let's models earlier, and make our way but on foot. We'll be less they're super that expressive. And I think that's really cool, even if they look bad at certain angles. Okay, I remembered what the circle button did. All it does is activate your sneak mode, which we'll show later. But here, where you're supposed to use it... Uh, I kinda just attacked them. After handling that, we run into the village elder, who informs us if we want to find our friend, we'll have to find guard disguises to fit in. She quickly points us to where the barracks are so we can get some. After searching for a bit, finally find the soldier barracks. Really, this whole section right here is a nothing, because if you know where to go, you don't even run into the guards. All you have to do is just sneak up to the top, like I'm about to show you now. 
<laughs> like seriously, this is all this this is sneaking. You just <laughs> turn invisible, uh, invisible, and just walk past them. It, it, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. It has a recharge time, but I don't know if it really needed it. But <laughs> yeah, we sneak past all the guards and walk inside to get this funny cutscene with the captain. Check it out. Fire Nation soldiers must be in top physical condition. This includes personal hygiene. Fire Nation soldiers do not tire, they do not fail, and they do not smell. Rectify this immediately. That, and they do not smell. Really hits. I don't, I don't know. It's really funny to me. I feel like the humor kind of fits the show. After sneaking around for a bit, we find the soap for another mission. And then we, like, legit just take these guys' smelly uniforms. Gross, but whatever. We need the disguises, so we do what we gotta do. Though, I will admit, I really do like Sokka with this outfit on. I wish you could, like, change it in the middle of the game instead of just losing it forever. I got a little sidetracked, I I'll admit. So, as I was traveling, turns out, the Fire Nation is stealing supplies from the village. And it's like just a mission that you could you could you can help the village out with this. I, I don't know. Uh, it, maybe I'm just bugging and it's simple shit that people don't really care about. But it, it's kind of cool to me. After helping the villagers, we head towards the prison to go save Katara. Man, I, I literally love this like shot they had at the prison too. It's really nice. We enter the prison and run into the people whose clothes we stole. Sadly, that means no more Fire Nation Sokka. That sucks, but at least we found Katara. A bit of fighting later, we get the key and we free Katara. She says a person named Leanna Maker is in prison here and is being forced to create machines for the Fire Nation. Katara lets us know right away she won't leave without helping this total stranger. You know what? I'm not even gonna add, like, like, question it, you know? Whatever. Oh yeah, while I'm here, I free this guy. Apparently he got, like, caught... I don't know, I guess smuggling Dark War or something? That's my lore for him now. <laughs> for some reason, I always forget about this when I'm 100% in this game. You always have to come back as Katara to get this, uh, focus spot. So I'll show you what hers is, too. It's, like... Pretty similar, she just uses water stuff. You can't do that with air bending. After my brief detour, we come back, use this water spot to make a bridge, and then we get ready to fight the boss. Oh good. Which I personally think is pretty cool. Just look at this guy. Oh yeah, that's Leanne, by the way. Airbender. Yeah, this warden guy is has some like he's an aura about him. We'll I don't know, man. Out. He's pretty cool. This warden guy is actually pretty aggressive. He has this fire attack, which I think is kind of cool. His all his hitboxes on his melee are broken. I'm convinced you can't like like you, you can get hit from behind him. But that's not the point. All you have to do is hit him a lot, and eventually he'll fall down, and you, that's when you can do big damage. That's pretty much the whole fight. Then he has, like, some other melee gimmicks, but it's kind of weird because his hitbox is kind of meh. But he's overall an easy boss, but I think he's really cool. Well, that's gratitude for you. She must have been afraid. I'm sure this was very confusing. Does this make sense to anyone? I knew that. I was just trying to look at it from all angles. Hey, that's the Northern Water Tribe we're training at. And this is an Earthbender training camp. Or at least it was last time I was there. Well, I don't know what the Fire Nation is planning, but if there are Earthbenders still there, they could be in danger. Let's go. We've been here too long already. I don't know what it is about these little oppa sections, but I really love them. It's just like, I don't know. It feels like you're just flying you with the no cast, and I guess going. that's the Did idea. 
Well, just I'm pretty sure cool. this is where the village was. Only, it's not how I remember it at all. Great! I knew we shouldn't let the airhead lead. You've been gone over a hundred years, Aang. A lot can change in that time. I know. Look! I see smoke and chimneys! Smoke means cooking! Cooking means food! Sokka always there. has his priorities straight. Maybe you'll see food something is the number place. one. As soon as we land, we are greeted by an injured earthbender begging us for help. Apparently, the nearby training camp is under attack. He urges us to stop the threat, so that's where we head first. When we make it to the Earthbender training camp, we find out our attack by more machines from the Fire Nation. After stopping them, however, we get access to our final team member, Haru. I was really excited for him, then I realized how much I didn't really care for him. Though he does do a lot of damage at max level. Like, a lot. Oh yeah, just for a little more context, uh, apparently Haru's friend, I think it's Yuan, or Yuan, he was taken as well, which is the same as the Water Tribe. I'm catching a theme here. You also get the Core Charm for healing all the Earthbenders. Okay, let's uh, take a break from the story and just talk about the skill list real quick. Uh, essentially, you have your basic attack moves. When you max out all of the bars up there, you get access to a 5-hit combo. And it's essentially just like your master hit, like your master combo. Except there's no slow motion and it doesn't one shot. Your offensive moves are pretty simple for like, let's take Sokka for example. His boomerang is essentially just all his offense. He throws it, he can throw it at multiple people, and then he does one more that increases the damage you get by a ton. Then you have defense, which is more defensive stuff, like making them flee and, or, and mass flee, which is probably the most busted thing. And then Sokka also has a counter, which is at the very end of his defense. Then we have his club, which is just a distraction. Like, Katara has the heal, Aang has distraction too. Uh, well, his club is buffs. That's what his is. Aang has distraction, and Katara has heals. That's pretty much it. If you're planning on 100%ing the game, just make sure you come here and do this focus spot first so you can get this bandit mission done. Because for some reason, these rocks disappear when you're at the end game in this level. It's weird. I don't really understand why they do that. After doing all the missions available here, and a little bit of wandering, I'll admit, I finally come back here to do the main story. Tyro informs us that they haven't found much on the machines. Apparently, they escaped through the thick forest away from Earthbenders, who should be able to feel them moving. Right? Am I bugging? Anyway, he points us in the direction of where a sage could be, Shh. I think I heard something. Don't be such a wimp. There's absolutely nothing scary about this cave. Or it might be a little scary. Wow. Right, so that the ancestral bear. bear. It's really simple, like probably the easiest boss in the game. All he does is have all he has like is this stupid dash attack that has really dumb hitboxes and a swipe attack. That's it. I should dodge <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't really... I don't know what else to tell you. Oh yeah, I, I can tell you this. Mid-fight, for some reason, Katara just turned stiff as a board and didn't move even when they ran it, even when he like, walked right into her. I don't know what made this happen. I wish I could recreate it. But like... <laughs> this was my... This was the rest of my fight. Because the boss doesn't have any other, like, phases or anything difficult to him. <laughs> it's just a funny glitch. Anyway, after handling the boss, it turns out he was, uh, like, the sage guy the whole time. Pretty neat, right? You have proven Totally didn't see this one Avatar. coming. Your spirit gives us hope. When the time comes, I pray you display wisdom also. First spirit. We need to find where the machines are coming from. You possess the seed of knowledge already. Plant it at the core of the earth, and you will find what you seek. <sighs> what does that even mean? It means we're going to see a king! 
It will be so good to see Omashu again. How did you know that the sage meant for us to go there? It was a riddle. I don't want to cut off Aang. But do you see how chopped Taru's face is? No this is what I mean with the models. The they look ugly and at certain angles. The sage said core. He obviously meant the core of the Earth Kingdom, which is Omashu. Obviously. You're just jealous because you weren't wise enough to work it out. Oh yeah, we should all be wise like Aang. Like, do you see his face? We're here. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so after a bit of walking around Omashu and goofing off destroying shit, I run into this guy. He's really good. He increases your saddle's uh, capacity by 30%, which means more items you can hold and sell. So good. After collecting a bit, King Bumi has summoned us, so the guard takes us there. You! How's my oldest friend in the whole world? Your Majesty, this moment has played through my mind for... <gasps> You're here for the play! Guards! Costumes! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is Katara doing in the side? <laughs> Look, we came to find out about the machines, not to be in some stupid play. But Blossom the Dancing Warrior is one of my favorites. She's still there. So, What's this about machines? Not you too, Sokka. No. A wise man told us we can learn about them here. <laughs> this is so here? funny how broken this cutscene is. There's nothing here but a bowl of fruit and a large man. Maybe you should try the library. Of course. That must have been what the sage meant about growing the knowledge we had. Oh yeah, that was one smart bear. The royal library contains all the knowledge of the Earth Kingdom. And is completely off limits, but for Earthbender Masters. Oh, look, it's the Goody Two Shoes console come to spoil all the fun. These are Earth Kingdom traditions. But Aang is the Avatar. Surely. And they will be respected. But we need to find. This discussion is over. <sighs> we don't want to break our traditions, Boomy. All Earth Kingdom must respect our traditions. But you're not from the Earth Kingdom, are you? Boomy is such a god a king. Genius. It's like, it's now crazy how cool you. he is. And don't let I really wish there was more of him in this. Library. I know this part right here is usually optional, but I always do it. Just getting the password, which by the way, is really funny and it's totally King Boomy. Zoomy Boomy. Only he can make up something like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> But I always get this so, it, so like the guards at the library let me walk straight in. Right, I forgot about this, but Haru refuses to come into the library with you. Because he doesn't want to break Earth Kingdom traditions. I respect it, so I don't push it. Because I definitely would have if, uh, if it was some other nation. This has to be the worst security I have ever encountered in video games. Just look. That's it. Just giving the password and saying you're here to visit your uncle. That's all it takes to get into a sacred library like this. You're welcome. Now for the library itself, I didn't really want to show too much of this because it's mostly just sneaking around a bunch of guards placed in annoying spots. Uh, I'm not a fan of the sneaking, I'll just say it out loud. But it's like not forced upon you too often, so I don't really, really like care too much about it. We're looking for anything on machines. Katara, you take the shelves on the left, Aang, you take the right, and... Whoa! Or we could try the huge, obvious stone tablet in the center of the room. It seems to be a record of battles. Battles involving benders and the machines. Let me see. Are these battles? They almost look like training sequences to me. Whoa! How are we supposed to tell what any of this means? This library is for master benders, Sokka. You know, smart people. I am hey, sick of the Sokka I'm disrespect. Smart. Do you know That's a crazy way? shot at my no. boy for no reason. But I'll bet Boomy does. <laughs> I just interrupted a cutscene just for that. <laughs> anyway, 
after goofing off in the library, we meet up with Haru, where I get the chance to actually tease him. <laughs> I feel kind of bad, though. No need to rub it in, jerk. I just wanted to show you this cutscene. It's a really nice reference to the show. Don't know, stupid lemur! Where's he going? Hurry, before I lose him! No way! Do you remember what happened last time we... I don't know. I think it's a really nice touch that they added this. You know, they really didn't have to add this, so it's just a really cool reference. Not to mention, the cabbage guy. Yes, he's here, and he's only here just to be tormented. My cabbages! Guards! Off with their heads! One for each cabbage! Once we escape from the guards, we head to the palace to chat with Boomy about our findings. And then he gives us an important task. Obtaining mollifying paste from the royal merchant. I guess he needs time to look for a map or something. I... I don't know. He acted confused here, so I was like, whatever. Let's just go get it. Oh yeah, and for finding his goggles, he gives you a core amulet. Pretty cool. Once we make it to the royal merchant, we obtain mollifying pace. But suddenly, we're attacked by the Fire Nation. Firebenders! I put all these people in danger. We have to leave Omashu. Don't we have to deliver Crazy Man his pace first and find out about this island? <sighs> and we get our first and only Haru solo section. Honestly, I like boot. the idea of these like solo you? sections. I'll meet They're you really there cool. Later. I kind of wish there was more of them. But as much as I like this solo section, I think it's honestly really cool that they have it. I just don't like Haru. It's just, he's not my type of character is all. He's not a bad character. It just takes 10 billion years to frag enemies, especially when you're by yourself. I'm just happy there is guards to help. After getting jumped a bunch, we finally make it back and get this really funny cutscene. Check it out. Sorry to keep you waiting. Invasions can be so time-consuming. Uh, do you have the paste? Yes. Good. I'm going to need some help with this. Here. <laughs> ah, that's better. My lips were so chapped. Did we just spend all that time fetching you lip balm? <laughs> they were chaps. Like, how do you even? I love him so much, it, it okay. hurts. The island you seek is called Four Paws Island, and it's right there. But, Boomy, there's nothing there. That's right. The island's location is not documented. That's what makes Four Paws such a dog to find. <laughs> <clears throat> you better sneak out the back way. Good luck, Ang. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This council guy was obviously the villain of this, like, like this whole Omashu part. What are you doing? We need I don't know. to get Aang out <laughs> It just seemed kind of too obvious. The king is a fool. He was just in our and way from the very beginning. The whole city at risk. Just let us go, and the Fire Nation will leave too. You think I care about the Fire Nation? There are bigger things than the Fire Nation and your precious little avatar. I am part of a plan that will ensure the safety of the Earth Kingdom. Your kind will all be obsolete soon. I'll attend to that personally. Okay, his fight on the other hand, gotta say, pretty gas. He forces you to switch your characters. Sometimes it's weird how the stun works, but when he, when it works, it works. And I think that's a really cool mechanic to like make you enjoy your whole party. That's just me though. The one thing is, 
He is way too tanky for his own good. And he barely gets stunned and he teleport around the map. But he doesn't have anything like crazy about him. That's about it. Just an overall enjoyable fight compared to what we've gone against already. What do you think he meant about a plan? I think the console's plans didn't show the battles at all. But her training the machines to replace Benders! Oh look, another dark tunnel. Come on! Ah! Oh boy, Where Prince Uko again. I'm just... <laughs> what the fuck are T-posing in the back? <laughs> I don't know what's up with this game and the T-posing, but they do it so much. I just hate seeing Zuko because you don't really do anything when I'm... According to this map, we're almost there. But there's nothing there. That's exactly what they want you to think. What who wants us to think? Whoever didn't put it on the map. Gah! This is the most ridiculous... Hey, I can see an island. It looks just like the picture. It looks like there's a village down there. Let's land and ask for directions. Directions? <sighs> you can't eat directions. Yeah, uh, Sokka's still by far my favorite character. You know, just an avatar in general. Food no is always on his mind, and I respect him so much for machines. it. If it can't be found, their work wouldn't be disturbed. The real question is how lunkheads like the Fire Nation found it and how they kept it a secret. Subtlety isn't exactly their specialty. We head into the village and run into the village elder. He tells us they don't actually have an allegiance, like to any nation, which is kind of weird because they lost all their history. I don't know how you manage to do that, but I decide to help him anyway by bringing back lost artifacts. Doesn't seem too hard, honestly. Okay, this is a really cool reference to the show. The Frozen Toads come back. I, I, I don't know, I just wanted to talk about it because it's a really cool mission, just because they talk about them. Unfortunately, well, fortunately in my case, they don't like thaw out, so I don't have to worry about timers or anything for this mission. Pretty clutch. While I was looking around the island, I found this cool hidden pathway. I decided to go down it. Turns out, actually, it was like a part of the main quest. I wasn't looking at the minimap for forever for some reason. It's just a series of simple puzzles. You know, you use Haru to knock down a statue here, a statue there, then you use some Aang, then you're good. But of course these stupid machines have to butt in. I grab the keystone that dropped, then head back to the Elder to talk about it. He claims this is a centerpiece for the keystone. And apparently there's four more, which I already found just kind of wandering around. The map's not that big, but, you know, it wasn't that hard to find them either. He actually gives you the key to solving the riddle up ahead. I'll show you what I mean. Even with the answer, I had a brain fart and put the code in wrong. But, you know, whatever. We live. Well, that worked. Look, Sokka, another dark passage. Okay, so basically all we have to do is copy the moves on this tablet. Pretty neat. And what we get for completing it is the ancient tablet, which gives us history about the islanders. I don't know. I thought I'd just tell you guys because it's pretty cool to figure out that they're actually descendants of earthbenders. Which is weird, because there's no earthbenders here. At least from like everybody I've talked to at least. There's someone up there! It's Leon! What's she doing here? Leon, 
Leon! We can get you out of here. Hurry, before the Fire Nation comes back. There's no Fire Nation here, Avatar. They'd only get in the way of me working on my machines. Your machines? Yes, my machines. I've built enough machines to bring peace back to the world. Peace? Your machines are creating war! You're already at war. Sozin's Comet is coming and you'll never complete your Avatar training in time. The Fire Nation will win. If you work with me and my machines, Avatar, then we could end this war together. I want Harmony too. But your machines are destroying innocent people in their homes. I could never be a part of that. I thought the Avatar. I'm of not all trying to justify Leon here. But if you're against but I really me, do understand where she's no coming from. But to destroy you. I wouldn't really trust Benders either. <laughs> you can't destroy the I mean, Avatar. after all, He'll they are reborn. tearing the world apart. Um, Sokka, I don't think just that's saying. helping. Perhaps not. But I can sever his ties to the Avatar spirit, leaving him powerless. You've chosen the wrong side in this war. And my prototype is about to show you why. Here's another perfect example of why these models look horrible from far away. Look at that shit. Ha! Is that all you got? <laughs> I guess not. Okay, the prototype Dreadnought. There's really only like two moves to it. That ice attack and the slam. That's about it. Uh, I, I I wish I could tell you there's more. Oh wait, his uh butt crack lowers and lets you hit it. So there you go. But that's it. That's really the boss. Nothing else to it. Quickly, we can't let Leon escape. But we don't even know where she went. Oh no, I think I do. We have to hurry. Why, Aang? What is it? Katara, sometimes I think it's better not to know. <laughs> I think Leon is getting desperate and will try to destroy the statues in the Avatar Sanctuary. And that's supposed to break your connection to the Avatar spirits? It can't! They're just statues! But I can't let her destroy them! It's okay, Aang. It's not okay! How am I supposed to do my job when I don't know anything? I bet even Avatar Roku didn't know everything. No one does. Guys, those people are in trouble. I don't really understand Leanne's uh, thought process here. Why would she think destroying statues would magically stop Aang? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense for how smart she is. The elder of the village tells us about the sanctuary that has been overrun by machines. She asks us to take care of them and return the sanctuary to its former glory. Of course we accept, because you know, that's the whole point of us being here. Here's a neat mission. The village lost their flag some time ago to the Fire Nation, and apparently it was left on some wrecked ship some time ago. She also asks us to get that. Not gonna lie, the minute I heard wrecked ship, I was all in for it. Look at it, it looks so cool! We definitely gotta go in now. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. It's just like... A wrecked ship. It still looks really cool. Don't get me wrong though. After getting lost for a little bit, I find this back room where the flag is located. And there's also this really cool room that you need water bending to get out of. I don't know. It, it's nothing crazy, but I just appreciate the effort here. It's really cool. And it's like you like you fail this, I guess you technically just die, you know. Ain't actually fucks. What the fuck? <laughs> we finally make it to the sanctuary and get down to business, taking all the machines out, fixing up the statues, getting the water flowing again. And we also please the spirit by restoring the sanctuary to its natural beauty. What do you seek? Honestly, he's a pretty chill dude. Stay away.
I always thought this quest line was pretty cool, mostly due to the addition of the spirit world. It's a nice touch, but there's really not that much to do with it besides like a couple missions, like blessing the siege or finding a lady trapped in, in the spirit world. Yeah, that's about it though. As we head back to the village, the village elder spots a bunch of birds flying above. Wait a minute. I'm not too sure those were birds. But we should double check. Let's head to the air temple. You guys stay and protect the villagers. I'm going after Leon. No way, Aang. It's far too dangerous for you to go up there alone. Aang's more than capable, Katara. And these people aren't. Well, I don't like it, but I can see the sense in it. Just promise me you'll be careful. It's an air temple. I'm an airbender. What could possibly go wrong? Yep, yep! After exploring a little bit, we make it to the air temple where we realize the door is locked. So, Momo is our only hope to get a key to get in. You know, this is probably like the only Momo section I don't mind, mostly because they actually have a decent reason for us to like actually use Momo instead of just finding objects that only Momo can find. It just doesn't make sense to me. When I was playing this, I never understood, like, th at this exact moment. I was just sitting there in confusion for a second. Like, why does she just have the key just sitting there? Out in the open. Whatever, I won't stress about it. We head through the door Leanne just was messing with. Then we get this... puzzle, I guess you can call it? Going through the elements in order. So, it's not really much of a puzzle. But it's, like, cool. I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to be positive, but like, I don't know. It just doesn't impress me much. Yeah, and that's the extent of the puzzle. Just kind of walking. I don't know. I guess I was expecting a little too much. Maybe that's why I feel this way. But it doesn't matter. You already know what we're about to do to these things. We smash them up. Then we leave, sealing the door behind us. Day's work for the Avatar, Momo. Come on, we better get back to the others. It's an air temple. I'm an airbender. What could possibly go wrong? Yep, yep! This still doesn't feel right. He'll be fine. He's the Avatar. Now, let's see where we can get some lunch. Sokka is my goat. He uh, honestly, he t he just knows me so well. Bro's on his priorities, bro. I don't know. It's I like I know it's simple, but the whole like introducing a mysterious enemy and then your allies get cooked. Oh no! I always thought that Looks was kind of like, like a really cool Come on, Momo, little we have instance. I guess is how I could say it. Look at Aang running. All right, here comes another boss. Can you guess the element it'll use this time? I'll give you a hint. It's not water. Well, if you guess Earth, you're correct. Congratulations. So, the Geo Tunneler. Uh... I'm going to be harsh here. It's just another nothing boss. It has slams, obvious weak point, a ranged attack, and a slam. Not much else to say. Oh yeah, besides he's stupid tanky. Literally, it took me like 
I don't know, like 10 minutes to beat him. Just because how tanky he was. And I had good items. And equips on. I, I, I don't understand. It just took me forever. <laughs> and it really annoyed me. Oh man, they really thought I couldn't see Appa in the background. Come on. <laughs> I love how this game just has like T-poses of everything. Even Appa's T-posing in this shit. I love it. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. It, it won't be so bad. I just want to point out real quick. It's really cool how this whole last section is literally just Aang for... I guess like 75% of it. Really cool solo spot for Aang, even though there's like not much variation or anything that's switched up like compared to Haru. Well, I guess the fact that Aang is like a completely broken character, completely untested by the way, his tornado move is busted. Crazy busted. I'll show you when we fight the final that boss, because that's when it's like How the most egregious. Go anywhere without a flying bison? You stay here and rest, boy. I'm going to look around. All right, this place is called the Fortress. I'm not too sure why yet, but I'm certain I'll find out. Let's see what the Elder has to say here. He tells us that machines passed by his home earlier carrying prisoners, but they also blocked the path with rocks so no one can follow. He also told us about a farmer named Jed He's an earthbender, so he can move the rocks for us. We just have to go to his farm first. On my way to Jed's farm, I ran into these... Uh, deer? Sure. I uh, went the wrong way a couple times, but eventually I found my way right back to their patch. It was just a nice little mission I thought I'd share. Also, the area they're at is really nice. Take a look. I know, right? Really cool. I wasn't expecting such a place this late into the game. I was expecting more, I don't know, industrial stuff. After helping those deer, we make it to Jed's farm, where he immediately asks for our help. Go figure. Anyway, he just wants us to defeat uh, these canyon crawlers. Uh, gross. I don't like how they look. Honestly, if I didn't have the tornado move right here, these canyon crawlers might actually be a challenge. I don't know actually how hard they hit, because I actually never got hit by them. Or maybe I'm just so tanky at this point that they hurt, that, like they really don't hurt. I don't know. I, point is, I frag them and I get his help. Pretty good. I think this animation is kind of cute. Look at look at it. Just look look. This is like classic PS2. <laughs> Come on, it's so adorable. Oh yeah, and Jed's like a real bro. What a guy. Now I know why it's called the fortress. It's literally just a giant fortress. Okay, cool. I'm going to keep it real here. I, I honestly think this is so disrespectful for Haru. <laughs> it's only because like Toph, a literal child, gets out of a metal cage before him. <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. But out of everyone, Sokka got violated the worst. Look at this. Come on. I'm the, it's not done yet. Wait, just wait for it. Aang's gonna knock him out of that thing, and it's gonna be so sad. <laughs> like, come on! He didn't have to do that! <laughs> like, 
Man, I cracked myself up. Okay, so I was today years old when I found out there was a level cap in this game. Apparently it's 20. Good to know. I'm just so happy Sokka has like an actual use for his focus. Like, I'm pretty sure Aang could have just did that with airbending. Like, I get why Katara is like this, don't get me wrong. It's kind of funny when you look at her, but like, you understand she's nowhere near water. So I guess it's a, I guess she's appropriately trapped. She's like, help, she's crazy. We got to stop her. <laughs> Man, I'm having too much fun at the end here. Well, are you ready to be disappointed? Come on, we have to One keep moving. One last time? Of course you are, because we're not going to fight Zuko at all. Wait, Sokka. Yes, I'm salty. We can't just leave him here like this. I don't need anyone's help. See, he says he's fine. Now let's go. No! Haru, <laughs> do you think you can move that? The no was crazy. <laughs> I just, I just realized his fireball particle activated before he even shot it. Got ya. <laughs> this game is comedy gold. Oh wait, wait, this is funny too. Watch this, watch this. No. <laughs> There's nothing more you could have done. Eh? Ooh, I'm, I'm hitting my mic. How funny this shit is. <laughs> you can't make that up. They knew exactly what they were doing with that. All right, here it's we go. Her. Final Hurry. boss time. Well, like, kinda? Just, just watch. It's a trap! <clears throat> oh, right. The steps. Hey, who's touching my boomerang? Ow! Stop pulling my hair! Ow! You stop pulling my hair! <laughs> I fold your hair! <laughs> These guys are a bunch of fucking goofballs. Aang, was that you? Uh oh. Alright, guys. As promised, here's the frag fest. Observe how broken Aang is, and I'm and, and like a little bit. I, I just want to talk about the Dreadnought. It essentially has everything every other boss has had. But here's the twist. It can spawn enemies. And those enemies die in like two hits. Ooh, crazy, right? I know, I know. Wait, wait. Watch this, watch this, here we go, here we go, I'm about to frag him. Holy shit, get fucked! <laughs> oh my god. Yo, Aang just actually violated that stupid boss. Uh... Alright now, this is the real, real boss now. Not whatever that was last time. I mean, I've never, I haven't been this excited for a game in a minute, and maybe it's because I'm like 100% completing it. So I get to enjoy all the goodies at the end. I'm excited. You know, games actually rewarded you for 100%ing stuff back in the days. Even if it was just concept art. Alright, listen up here. I want you to, like, pick Keep a side up, here. These Team Avatar, The yet, Obvious, or now. Leanne? It's not about winning, it's about balance. Can't you see that benders have created four nations instead of one world? This division is why there is war. The only road to peace is to even the playing field. Even the playing field how? By destroying benders? 
I'm not big on vendors either, but you're just replacing them with your machines. What I'm doing is putting thinkers in charge of the world instead of magicians. It's not magic, it's bending. The world needs benders. I suppose benders do have their uses. Benders! Why? Let my friend go! No way! The people who disappeared were working for wish. the Maker the whole time! I just want the war to end, Haru. I gave them a choice. Give their power to me and my machines, or be swept away with the rest of the useless traditions of an old, hopeless world. I offer you the same choice, Aang. You'll die to the Fire Nation before you can complete your Avatar training. Join us, and together we will be a full Avatar right now! Becoming the Avatar is more than just controlling the elements, Leon. It's about something you can't make out of metal and gears. My machine is closer to an Avatar than you'll ever be. I don't need you. You're just another mindless bender, and you'll be destroyed with all the rest. Call me crazy, but I think she's actually a really good Avatar boss. Final boss time. Let's just go down the list of moves it has, because it just kind of does whatever it wants. Has the ice cannon, has the flamethrower, has a slam. Uh, it has like a wind turbine thing I never actually get hit with. Yeah, that's about uh, that's about it. <laughs> uh. I want to hype this boss up, but like, it's it's literally just the other bosses put together, and and like slightly stronger. But tornado still frag, so it doesn't matter. Ouch! Are you all right, Haru? I think so. Here, put pressure on it like this. Did you really think my machine would fall so easily? Even without benders, it retains more than enough power to finish you. Say what you want, Aang has crazy aura. Especially when he's transforming into the Avatar state. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it like combines all its attacks. That's like its last random thing. But we also got the Avatar state. Which allows you to, like, use all the elements, so it's unfair, and it's obvious that this thing wasn't going to win. I know it doesn't look very interesting, but that's because the game is actually kind of jank. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Tornado still frags, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I know you guys are, like, watching this and, like, this dude is losing his mind. But I don't know, it's just so funny. <laughs> I don't know. Aang actually just killed her. Is he okay? Katara, you could have got yourself killed! What were you thinking? I had to do something. There was no time and no one else saw. Aang's more important than all of us. I think I understand. At the North Pole, Master Wei told me to learn from you, Katara. I thought he meant waterbending, but it was more than that. Of course. Did you hit your head or something? Because you aren't making any sense. Aang, I just helped you like anyone would. Bro, I love no this game. It's help. actually a pretty good You're banger. You're the only one who saw the danger. I guess sometimes it comes down to just one person being able to help. There are certain things only I can do, too. I have to start accepting my responsibilities, or I'm turning my back on everyone. I'm... the Avatar. Blah! When you two have finished making faces at each other, we need to find a way out of here. That's what I'm saying, brother. Hey, and Haru got to, got to save his friend. I mean, fuck those other guys, you know, the waterbender and the... 
There's still one thing I'm wondering. What's that? If Sokka really doesn't like Benders... Uh... You're all right, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like us when we're saving your butt. What? I don't need my butt saved. Girls can be so silly. I never needed any silly bending, and I got through just fine. And what are you two laughing at? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Laugh it up. Joke's on Sokka. Joke's always on Sokka. All right, so we finally reached the end of the video. After all that comedy at the end. So what do I think of the game? Let's get the elephant out the room first. The game is easy, like really easy. But I don't think that takeaways from the game overall. Because if you look at the game for what it's offering, the combat, sure, it's not the most complex, but it is pretty fun and is like, extremely broken, which is a plus. I think I like how all the characters interact with each other. I like how the models are super expressive. They look good up close, but uh, like far away, they look horrendous <laughs> and I can't defend them then. Uh, the maps, they're all really nice, really beautiful, really colorful. The enemies, I mean, after a while, they kind of just boil down to I don't know, like, basic grunts to me, at least. I mean, even the bosses. I think the only boss that was actually kind of challenging was that council guy in Omashu. I think the skill tree, even though it was, like, really simple, I think it was nice. I kind of wish there wasn't a level cap, because I kind of wanted to just level up as much as I could. But that's just me being greedy. Overall, would I say this game still holds up? I think... If we compare it to the most recent Avatar title, I think this shit blows that, uh, this new one out of the water. Respectfully, so I could say it holds up without a doubt. Anyway, I think that'll call it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider liking and subscribing. And if you're new to the channel, hit the bell so you never miss a notification. Appreciate ya. Also, I'm not sure what game I'm going to be posting next week, but I'm also going to try to, like, post some more gameplay as well for the people who enjoy that. Until next time, you guys. Peace.